for my friends. I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Food. Thanksgiving. Mmm. I'm thankful it's over. <laughs> With all the stress from the preparations, having people over and cooking up a storm, it's always nice to finally chill out and simply reheat the leftovers. Because of course, they are always leftovers. On the other hand, what to do with that huge pile of turkey meat? In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my turkey zucchini bolts. Mm. This recipe is perfect to use up some turkey leftovers. Plus, it's a nice change from having the same meals from the last few days. It's incredibly easy to make and the taste is absolutely beautiful. So my friends, let's get cooking. Let's prep the zucchinis first. After washing them, we'll cut the ends, discard them, and then slice the vegetables lengthwise. We'll score the abs about a quarter inch from each side to use as a guide for hollowing out the flesh. Next, we'll use a melon baller, in my opinion is the best kitchen tool for the job, and scoop out the inside, making sure to leave a space around, including the ends, so it can hold the filling. See, it looks like a little canoe. Now, let's move on to the stove. In a large saucepan, over medium heat, we'll add oil. And when it gets hot, we'll add onions and celery. We'll saute for three minutes. Then we'll add red peppers and cook for two minutes before adding chopped mushrooms. We'll stir them into the mixture and cook for four minutes. We'll now add the pressed garlic and you know the drill. We'll saute for only one minute. To this, we'll add cooked turkey Stir until well mixed and then add the marinara sauce. I have an amazing homemade recipe. To view it, click on the top right corner of your screen. We'll season with my Italian seasoning that you can't get by clicking, ah, you know how. And followed by sharp cheddar cheese. We'll stir again until everything is well incorporated into the mixture. We'll remove from the heat and transfer the filling into a large bowl. We'll add breadcrumbs and fresh chopped parsley. We'll stir until the ingredients are well blended and let's not forget to taste and adjust if necessary. Now, time to stuff the prepared zucchinis. We'll place them on a baking dish lightly greased and spoon the mixture into the cavities making sure they're evenly filled with the stuffing. Next, we'll sprinkle on some finely grated Parmesan cheese, enough so it covers the filling. We'll place some foil on top, which will help to cook the zucchinis faster, and transfer to a 375 degree preheated oven. We'll cook for 35 minutes. While I was doing the dishes, I saw the smoked paprika sitting on a counter, which I totally forgot to sprinkle on top of the Parmesan cheese. Now, knowing that we have to take the dish out of the oven after 25 minutes to remove the foil, I thought it was a good time to add the spice. Well, it actually tasted better that way because it was more potent, so don't panic if it happens to you as well. Alright, so after removing the foil, and in my case, adding the forgotten spice, we'll return the dish to the oven for the remaining 10 minutes. When time is up, we'll remove from the heat and let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes before serving. And my friends, these are our turkey zucchini boats. Healthy, colorful, and delicious. This is a great recipe to use after the holidays. With a beautiful blend of ingredients, this is an easy and fun way to use up your leftover turkey. I'm sure you and your family will love it as much as we do. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit TuffBooty.com 
for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends. Bon appétit. Thank <laughs> you.